girlfriend got off work early today. She's been working a lot of overtime lately. Her uh, healthcare plans and audit. So we get to meet each other for dinner tonight, which is nice because I like my girlfriend. Last weekend we went uh, to a wedding in Joshua Tree and uh, Joshua Tree is beautiful. I've only been there once before and I always like going out there because it's so gorgeous. But out where we were, there was no signal. We were kind of disconnected from the greater world. We take this constant connectivity to the internet for granted sometimes and that made me start thinking about more offline cell phone solutions. More importantly, open source offline solutions such as uh, so offline maps and offline Wikipedia. So that's what we're going to look at right now. First thing we're going to look at, and don't be fooled by the icon, this is not Google Maps. This is Maps, an open source project. Now it's based on Maps.me, which is a open source project that also has commercial parts in it, but the program itself is open source. So this version maps without the .me. They've ripped out all those commercial parts, all the advertising, and you end up with just a really robust and powerful little Google Maps replacement. Now there's certain things Google Maps is not going to be able to do. It gets most of its listing data from either MapQuest, uh, OpenStreetMap, or uh, Yelp. So for example, if I type in here and I type in food, it's going to get me food listings based on my location based on distance here. So you see it's 270 feet, 300 feet. So it tells me like, oh, there's a Tommy's by my house. I mean, I already knew that because I can look out a window. In the settings, you go get kind of deep. You have your measurement system, 3D buildings, which I leave turned off because once you get into LA, the 3D buildings is fucking insane. Where, where I live here, there's very few buildings are on the three list. Translations in Latin. Yada, yada, yada. Always use the internet. Night mode. I really like night mode. It's just exactly what you want from a night mode. It's just in the dark. It's fantastic. There's a lot of other features and tools in here. I, I have bookmarks of places I like. Places that make me happy in my parents' house. Things like that. And you also have the ability to edit open street maps from here. But it's kind of clunky. That's probably best to be done on the desktop anyways. I almost forgot to talk about the offline settings of maps. Download maps. So I have 12 of 12, all of California, which is 546 megabytes. And I'm going to be visiting Nevada next month. So I grab the 31 megabytes that is Nevada. But you can add different parts of the world and have them completely offline or download all, which I would not recommend doing unless you have a ton of space. The other application we're going to look at is Kiwix. Kiwix is an offline Wikipedia browser. Now, it took a second to load because it's pulling from a compressed file, but you can basically click random article and it will bring you random articles. Right now, I have, there's different databases to choose from. So if you go to get content, those are the ones I have installed, but here's all the ones you have access to. You can get one that's 34 gigabytes, 72 gigabytes. They have some of them that are in the terabyte almost. For my device, I just have the 1.5 gigabyte, uh, that one's the most popular English documents. And of course, the really bare bones 300 megabyte one. But I'd probably get rid of this one because I think there's a lot of duplication there. But anyways, um, that's really nice. And it's completely offline. So when you're in the middle of nowhere, you can still look up, you know, um, open source software. And you'll have a pretty good access to it. But both applications are definitely worth digging into and looking to a little bit more. They're both available on F-Droid and the Play Store. Especially Maps has some features I couldn't really dig into because I don't drive, like navigation and whatnot. But they're definitely both really worth looking into. So um, when you get a chance, check them out. They might make your life better. All right, that's it for now, guys. Peace.